Hey guys, welcome to Quinian's Budget Craft. Today we're going to continue off in that last video making that open ocean board. We're going to use a uh, tried and true method of using some joint compound, a little bit of glue. Real simple, real cheap. So let's dive right in. The first thing you're going to want to do is get a sponge, get it kind of damp, and just sort of damp the board. You don't want to get it soaking wet or you're going to warp it really bad. It does end up warping anyway, but we'll get to that. Then we'll just take some of this appropriately named Caribbean and cover the whole thing. Go ahead and let that dry and then do it again. To add the texture, we're going to mix the same paint with a little bit of this dry Dex joint compound and some gloss Mod Podge to make it stiffen. It's about 70% of the joint compound and then the other 30% is mostly glue and some paint. The compound is pink but dry is white. It still changes the color of the paint when you first mix it though. So I did a test piece just to make sure that it was actually going to dry the right color and not some weird purple. Once I was sure the test piece was good, just go ahead and mix up a big batch of it and dump it on the board. And I'm using my fingers here to try and get something kind of like a wave direction without it being too directional and without getting the peaks too high. Because you want everything to be able to still sit flat on it. So now it kind of looks like a blue ceiling, huh? Well, we'll fix that. We're going to mix up a little bit of this Admiral Blue with mostly water and a drop of dish soap. And then you just spray it over the whole thing. The more random you spray it, the better. And that's what it looks like after the wash dries. Now just use some white paint and a wide brush and just dry brush over those peaks you've made. If you get a spot like this where your dry brush got away from you, just hit it with a little bit more wash, it'll go away. The joint compound is probably going to go over the edge a little, but that's alright. Just grab yourself a nice stiff blade like this utility knife and just scrape the edge, it'll come right off. And now we'll spray it with Mod Podge sealant. It says that it's matte, and it actually is if you spray very thin coats, but we're not going to spray a thin coat, so it's going to be a little bit shiny. Oh, this is a good idea. And now here you can see we got a little bit of a warp, but that's okay, we'll fix it. Mix up about a half a cup of Mod Podge and some black paint, coat the entire underside, and then lift it up so only the corners are supported, and put some weight right in the middle of it. I used whatever two gallons of sand weighs. And while we're waiting for that to dry, let's plan out what we're going to do here. Ultimately, we want a big 4x4 board so it covers your whole 4x4 table. What I was thinking with the other three boards was we do the land like this so that there's a little bit of a cove, then you can put a dock on each side and then a dock connecting the two, kind of like this. And then we'll go through and put some little huts and forts and buildings and cannon emplacements and, and that kind of stuff later. So what I need from you guys Put in the comments down below, which board should we do next? One, two, or three? The kitty's not sure about my warp fixing method. Nobody wants to try to fix a warp, so next time we'll use a trick I picked up from Real Terrain Hobbies, link in the description, where he screwed his to a frame first, and then there was no warping. And then to give it a nice glossy finish, we just missed the whole thing in that 50-50 Mod Podge gloss and water mix. All done. Thank you for watching everybody, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.